Right, hi everyone, it's Chris here, 2E0UKH. I just wanted to do a video, a better video, showing how to get uh, the experimental firmware on your MD380. And I think it works with the 390. The MD380 tools. So, first thing you need to do is get an image of a, a, a Raspberry Pi image all all on one card and you can download a ready-made one from the internet uh, the site I use is this one here KB5 RAB Pi images and you've got a choice of two files you've got the one on the left and the one on the right the one on the right um, includes uh, Yesu System Fusion in the build of the uh, Pi. You know, there's software on. If you if you use Fusion, you choose this one. If you don't, you choose this one. So you download this file. Download this file, and you burn it to an SD card. This is an eight gigabyte file. So you'll need an 8 gigabyte micro SD card. So let's let's just pretend that's come, but you'll be doing it. I've already made one. So the file's already come, and what you do is you need a piece of software, something like Win32 Disk Imager. I know most of you know this bit, but there might be someone that doesn't. So you get this piece of software, Win32 Disk Imager, and um, scan it for viruses after you download it. It's up to you where you get it from. You know, it can come with all sorts of uh, nasties added on it if you if you get it from the wrong place. So Raspberry Pi, Raspberry Pi projects. That looks like a good place. I'll leave you to be the judge where you get it from. So you download the software. I've already got it here. You download the software, you run it, and you point it at the location where your image file is. So you point it at the location where your image is, and in your computer you'll have your micro SD card in a memory card reader and you choose the device there so you choose the device the drive letter you gotta make sure you're not click you're not you gotta make sure you got the right device there if you choose the if that's your external storage, you'll wipe all your photos and videos and collection of stuff. So double check in Device Manager, which is your uh, drive, by clicking on by looking at my computer here. I haven't got an SD card reader in because I've already made the image, but check the one has. Um, eight gigabytes of storage you know clearly these are these are huge drives it's none of these it's quite clear which one it is but you don't want to uh, format the wrong one I personally unplug any big drives to avoid the uh, the possibility of blanking something by accident so you just click right and that makes the uh, image on the card and it will take five ten minutes now in the other room in the other room on my network I've got a Raspberry Pi up and running and I'm going to show you what it looks like on um, on the Raspberry Pi plugged into the Raspberry Pi is my MD380 well it's a friend's one he wants it doing that's why I'm doing the video because I'm fairly familiar with how to do it so it's it's connected with the programming cable 
and the radio is sitting there in DFU mode. That means from the off position you switch it on and hold in the transmit button and the button above it. So you hold both them buttons, the top one and the transmit button, um, switch it on and the red light will be flashing on the top. That's DFU mode. So once it's in DFU mode you do the following. So I'm just going to connect to my system. So this uh, image the exact same one I've pointed you to in the start of the video has been burned onto a card, a micro SD card. That card is in my Raspberry Pi and as you switch it on for the first time this is what you'll see. It's actually a very good image. I don't need this software for what I'm doing. Um, don't need that. I need to go to ham radio MD380 tools and first of all I need to update the software the software on this Raspberry Pi I've just clicked on it and it says you can close the terminal window now that's updated second thing is so I've updated the software I need to load the software to the radio. That's my radio um, because it doesn't have GPS. I think the GPS model would be the 390. Not certain on that but seems pretty obvious. So I'm going to load, uh, load the software on the MD380. So this can take a while. So the radio in the other room is on is in DFU mode. This is exactly what it will be like if you're doing it yourself. I'm screen capturing in Windows going down my network to the Raspberry Pi. But it'll be exactly the same if you're sitting in front of the Pi. This is a this one's a Raspberry Pi 3 I'm using. So this only takes a minute or two, but I think it's best to do it in real time and then you can see the process. Right, beginning the firmware upgrade and I believe we should see the percentage go up. Yeah, there it goes. So this is the actual process. Now in a minute I'm going to once this is done the firmware upgrade I'm going to upgrade the list of the repeaters uh, not repeaters of of users DMR users on the radio right that's done you can close the terminal window so I'll just go back in there and get it ready and I'm going to have to put the microphone down dash in the other room right flash the user database to the radio now to do this part, your radio does not need to be in DFU mode, you just, it just needs to be on. So I'm going to turn it off, the radio, and I'm going to turn it on. So I'm just putting my mic down and just jumping, um, just running off into the other room. Uh, back in a moment. I've just turned the radio off and then back on. I don't know if you can hear me. Put the microphone back. Right, so I switched the radio off and I switched it on. So I should be able to flash the user database now. 
and that's when I first run this update the MD uh, 380 tool software that got the latest version of all the uh, call signs so flash the software press enter to start Yep, so that I can see this is working because it's starting to erase bits of information. I believe it's making space on the radio by deleting some of the Chinese characters and things. It releases a bit of memory and then you can get a lot more contacts on there. but that's just something I read. So it's still working, it's busy flashing on all the contacts, must be thousands and thousands of contacts. OK, update complete, to uh, close the terminal window, so I'll close the window and I'm just going to go and check that the radios. Um, being flashed. Stay there a second. So I'm now going to switch the radio on. I've just got it in my hand here, no wires on it. I'm just going to check that it's worked. Yep, and I've got a splash screen at the start now with the experimental firmware on there and this hasn't affected my code plug so this won't mess up your code plug so uh, I hope that was useful for someone I just wanted to do a better video a bit clearer how to do it 73 2E0 UKH